We did the bus because it was just a lot easier, a lot cheaper, and it was more feasible for us. But we wanted to be able to camp off grid, more secluded spots, just a little more remote. We came down here not just to escape the winter of the Pacific Northwest, because that's where we're from, that's where we live, but we also wanted to look for land down here possibly and just see how feasible it would be for us living here. And after my wife came down here, she just kind of decided that this isn't really the place for her. Too many creepy crawlers, tarantulas, rattlesnakes. We have a three-year-old, we got two tiny dogs, and uh, yeah, so yeah, we're just kind of traveling. Hi, my name's Caleb. I live in this bus with my wife, Hannah, and our three-year-old son, Phoenix. It's a 2007 Chevy short bus. It's a Duramax, it's a diesel, it's a 6.6 .6 LMM. We knew we wanted to have a full-size kitchen, or at least as full as we could. We did want to go with a full-size stove. We ended up going with a Furion. Uh, it's got some cool little blue lights. It's got a pretty deep stove. We also went with a deep sink. It's an inset, so or an undermount sink, so it's just kind of flush with our countertops. Uh, we did go with this faucet right here, which is pretty nice. It does come out, swivels, and then it has a couple different, a couple different options. Like you press the button, so that's always pretty cool. Under here is just like cabinet storage, just you know, like our water heater is out there, and then we also have just like towels and you know, dish soap, things like that, baby wipes, and then this is mainly just our food pantry up here where we just keep, you know, rice, uh, chips, uh, bread, all of our, you know, all of our dry foods and stuff like that, spices. And then down here, we also keep more of our spices, uh, things like that, so. So I also did this backsplash right here. This is real tile. Uh, I got the mud from Home Depot and I also got the flexible grout from Home Depot, I believe. Yeah, so this is all real tile right here. Uh, this is actually a full-size fridge. In our last bus, we just had like one of those little dorm fridges um, we really wanted to have a freezer just to store like meats, ice cream, pizza, things like that uh, makes a huge difference. And then having a full size fridge just makes a huge difference. Honestly, um, you get to pack a lot more groceries and eat a lot better foods. Um, we do have cabinet storage up here, which is mainly like our vacuum, um, hats, just little things like that. Some of our first aid stuff. I built the desk because I work remotely. I'm a web designer, web developer, have been for the last six years, which is kind of what allows us to do this um, and travel. But yeah, I mean, I just have a little desk. I keep uh, some of my work items in here, a couple baskets. Uh, I keep my laptop in here and just random cords and stuff like that. And then what's kind of unique about this desk is I, uh, I, I built this chair. And if you look under here, uh, or, you know, if you could see under here, there's a wheel well. And I mean, I wouldn't be able to slide the chair all the way in if it had four legs. So I actually had to kind of get a little creative and I built the chair, <laughs> I built the chair like that. Uh, so these legs just pretty much rest on the wheel well and it allows you to slide the chair all the way in. Uh, and then we also put a TV up here just to lay in bed at night, watch TV. We generally just hook it up to our smartphones or our jet, you know, our wireless jetpack and we'll stream movies, Netflix, YouTube, things like that. And then these just kind of control the light switches. They're just little dimmers. So then they go up and down, up and down. You can turn them on or off. We do have a bathroom. We dedicated this entire section of the bus to our shower and our toilet. Uh, we have two different types of shower heads. We have a rainwater and then we have this little swivel that you can kind of take off and just brush your, you know, wash yourself off really quick. And then we have a cassette toilet, which this thing works great. We had it in our first bus. Still have it in this one, works fantastic. And then we also keep our dog food right here as well. So kind of acts as uh, multiple use storage. Uh, so this is technically our living room, which does fold out into a bed when we go to bed at night. Uh, we wanted to have more of a sectional space so we could hang out during the day, watch TV, just kind of socialize more. Maybe if we wanted to have guests, you know, hang out, we could, you know, chill. It's just a lot more, a lot more easier this way. Uh, we had my grandma, who's an amazing woman. She helped me film, or she helped me uh, wrap these cushions. We got to pick out our own leather and whatnot. And then our couch is kind of unique because, like I said, it folds out into a bed. Both of these lift up for storage. There's storage underneath this one. There's storage underneath this one. And then all of our clothes are actually right underneath this one as well, which you know it's 
it's a tight space. You know, it's kind of a pain in the butt sometimes, but works for us. Also throughout the entire bus, uh, we only have two windows. Well, we have a couple windows, but we only have two windows that open in the bus. We just left this window and this window. Everything else is pretty much covered up by drywall and insulation and all that stuff. Um, but we did these shades that we got from Lowe's. They're pretty easy. You just pull them down. They stay, you can pull them up. Um, but we open up both of these windows generally when we're sitting here and it's breezy. You get a nice cross ventilation. You can also turn on the Air Max fan right up here. And then if you're really feeling like you need some air, you can open up the back door and you can catch really, you know, nice cross ventilation breeze. So that's really nice. So not too many, uh, not too many short buses that we've seen or even vans actually put a door. And since we have a three-year-old, for safety, we can lock this. You can't, you know, really get out, which is nice, uh, especially when we're like sleeping at night or something like that. So it's really nice to have a front door. We have 600 watts of solar on the roof. Uh, we can pretty much run this thing completely off grid due to our battery system. So, I mean, the solar, we get pretty good solar throughout the day, probably bring in about 20 to 30 amps an hour. Um, but for the most part, we have such a large battery bank that kind of compensates everything. We have a 900 amp hour battery bank. We do stay at campgrounds like this quite often, but when we do want to, you know, camp remote in a secluded location, it's really easy for us to do so. It's only 22 feet in length. Uh, it's got automatic doors. It's got dualies in the back, which are really nice. Uh, just makes driving a little bit easier. We could tow something if we wanted to. Uh, right here is where we fill up our propane. Uh, we have a 12.5 gallon propane tank undermounted right underneath there. That's our fill, that's our bleeder, really easy to do. Uh, this is our fresh fill, so when we wanna fill up our fresh water tank, that's where we do it. This is uh, a Girard tankless hot water heater, so we can pretty much take unlimited hot showers as long as there's a water supply. Some of the benefits about this lifestyle, which are really great to us and we appreciate, is being able to travel wherever you want. Uh, we've got to stay at some of the most beautiful beaches. We've got to sleep on the beach. And it's really great for him to get all these experiences. Something that I never got as a kid and I feel like he really appreciates and he loves it. So yeah, it's it's been, it's been a blast. It's been really amazing. Um, up here, we just have a couple storage boxes. This is where we keep most of our bath stuff, honestly, like our towels. Say so hey, about him hey, here. Hey, hey. Hold on, but hold. Pretty much. All right, let me just cut that out. <laughs> for real. We'll retake that. 